Year 8s, how are you guys doing? I'm going to show you guys in this tutorial one more time how to uh, move an object left and right on its own and also how to kill an object. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to trash uh, my scene with you guys. And I'm going to trash this one too. Let me create a scene from scratch. And I've already got a few uh, items in here, which I'm going to remove. Let's see here. That. That. Okay, and we're going to uh, get a background now. We don't really need a background. Okay, so let's get some tiles in. Uh, we're going to get our crocodile. And our crocodile is going to die on the banana. And um, by default, your bananas are going to move back and forth. So when you open a banana, it's going to be in your appearance. Uh, in events, so if you go over here to events, we're going to add an event. Go down to basic when creating. And under motion, we're going to set the X speed. So that's the second one out. Second one down, set X speed zero. And if you remember, uh, it's just like a number line in mathematics. If you use a positive number, it's going to go to the right. If you use a negative number, it's going to go to the left. So let's say I want my banana to move to the left. So I'm going to use a minus value. You can use 20, 10, 15, 19, it doesn't really matter. Uh, any number will do. The larger the number, the, um, the faster the object moves, obviously. So we're just going to test this out. Just to see that the banana is moving to the left. Okay, so the banana does indeed move to the left. It's a little bit fast. Uh, I'm going to slow it down so the next time you guys can see it moving. Uh, add event. So once you get the banana moving left, we're going to add a second event. So that was add event basic when updating. So when updating, I'm going to rename this. So, uh, banana start move right. And this one is, in this second one, updating, we're going to stop the banana from, uh, we're going to detect when it reaches its maximum and minimum points. So, we're going to need two ifs, and we're going to evaluate if the x coordinate of our banana is greater than or less than something. So we're going to go back to position this time because we want to track the x position, the x coordinate of our actor, which is our banana, is our actor, right? So we just need to fill this into here. Make sure you put them both on either the left or the right. Don't have one on the left, one on the right. Otherwise, your inequalities will be the same. Uh, you can check with your math teacher uh, about that. Or you can speak to me in class. So we need to make sure it's less than something. So less than something that's fairly small. So let's say 30 units. And greater than something that's big. Let's say 200 units. So I'm going to put these into, right, you see it light up there. So again, I'm going to put these into here. Right, so if we read this, if x of the banana, self is the banana, is less than 30, or otherwise if, x is more than 200. We're going to now, just like we did here, set x speed for the actor. We're going to set the x speed again. So if you remember, negative was moved, moving to the left, positive is moving to the right. So when it's more than 200, so let me go to the screen here to show you guys. If you look down here, there's an X and Y coordinate. And when you move your mouse around, you can see that X and Y coordinate is moving around as well. So roughly, you can check this on your own screen as well. If you move your mouse over to about, so that's about 200, if you look down here on X coordinate, so as I move it closer, that's about 200 units. So that's as far as that's gonna go. So when it goes more than 200, it's gonna go to the left. 
And if we look over here, right, this is here, right here, but it's about 30. And so if it passes 30, if it's less than 30, so these are these numbers are less than 30 around this region, it's going to go to the right. So let's finish that off. And so now we just set next speed. If it's less than 30, it moves to the right. So we need a positive value, let's say 10. If it's more than 200, we'll do a negative 10. Okay, so let's test this game out. Okay, so there's a banana. It starts moving left. And because we have those boundaries, it's moving between those boundaries, left and right now. Okay. Now, if, you're, um, if your mathematics is, is good, uh, then you're probably thinking, ah, okay, if I, want to, if I want my banana to move across the screen further, so again, if we look down here, um, the x for 200 is about here, right? If we want to move, let's say, around the middle of the screen, this is about the middle screen, it's almost 400 units. So that, it's about 380 right here, so that's what I'm going to use. So if we want the banana to move across sort of half the screen here, back and forth, then we're going to set the maximum x coordinate or x position to about 380 or 400. I'm going to go back and fix that so you guys can see this. So 380. And let's test our game out one last time. So there's a banana. So let's move past 200 now. So that's roughly the middle of the screen now. It's bouncing back and forth between the values of uh, about 30 and 380. Okay, so I hope that you guys understand that. Uh, if you need some more uh, explanations or have any questions, please see me in class. We'll see you guys next time where we will look at how to uh, kill the banana or the monkey. So I guess we have a crocodile this time now, don't we?